What's up guys, Sunjutsu here, and I wanted to go ahead and give you my review for Star Wars The Force Awakens. I just watched it a couple of hours ago, and I wanted to go ahead and give you my review. Now, the reason I'm giving you this review from my shitty-ass phone in my car is because i got a couple people in my house who have not yet watched the movie, so I don't want to accidentally spoil anything for them, but this is a spoiler review. I'm going to go ahead and give you just some of the spoilers that are in here and I wanted to talk about and just my thoughts on the movie and in general. So if you guys wanted to go ahead and click out, go ahead and do that. I'll give you a couple seconds to do that. Alright, that's a couple of seconds. So this movie, I loved this movie. I really did. I thought it was um, very intense, very memorable, very um, nostalgic. Had great characters. The new faces of this movie, they are very friendly. I guess, no, no, okay, maybe not friendly. They are very likable, lovable. Um, what else? Likable, lovable... Down to earth. It's just somebody, people that you would want to go ahead and hang out with on the regular, basically. The the people in this movie. And even the ones that I'm talking about are, obviously, um, Ray, Finn, Poe, BB-8. Those are the ones that you really wanted to hang out with. You really don't want to hang out with Kylo Ren because you don't want to. But I'll get more into his character in a little bit. I liked Finn a lot. He was like what I really wanted him to be, and I love the fact that he uses star this light, lightsaber. I was gonna say star burst, the lightsaber, and he does, doesn't have any force abilities. He does not have the force flowing through him. He in the movie, it, they push it and it makes it seem like he's gonna be the force user. Ray is the force user. In the movie, she finds out about the force. She rejects the lightsaber at first. Eventually, comes back to it. But in the meanwhile, Finn uses Anakin's lightsaber to get shit done and, and do it the best that he can. And that was one thing I really liked that the movie did because it kind of just threw me off. I didn't see that coming at all. Ray, I loved Ray. Dude, she is fine. Like at first, I watched the trailer. I was like, yeah, she's kind of cute. But in this movie, just her personality, her um, the way she—I mean, her personality, the way she um, is portrayed in the movie as kind of a badass chick. Like she can not too badass, like some of the chicks in other movies. But like, like she, she don't need anybody really to help her. She can really take care of herself. Um, I really, really enjoyed that. There's another character that I'm that I uh, and another movie show that I'm watching is called Gotham that has the young Catwoman that very, very much is similar to her. So I really, I really enjoyed her. It made her really attractive. I, I like her and Finn's relationship. It almost seemed like Finn had a really big crush on her throughout the entire movie, and Ray was just like doing her own thing, you know, not really paying attention to him. It was, it was really good. I don't know if they're gonna get into a love interest later on, but they might. I don't know. They, they might do that. I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't be against that. I wouldn't be for it. Really. Really, doesn't really matter to me. Love Poe. Poe was awesome. I wanted to see more of Poe in the movie. Poe is the is the uh, fighter pilot. He's the best fighter pilot the Resistance has, and he is awesome. I wanted to see more scenes with him, but every scene that he was in, I completely loved it. Whether he was being serious, whether he was talking and joking around, I loved it. I loved BB-8. I'm not a big R2-D2 fan. Never really was, especially in the prequels when they try to make them all cutesy and shit. But BB-8 was just cuddly, like from the get-go, like just the way he, just the way he is, the way he he was. I love BB-8. Um, there are a lot of parallels between this and the New Hope, like a lot, like literally the entire movie almost. Like there are a lot of parallels. If this movie wasn't had an, had, didn't have enough new shit in it. It would be a complete ripoff of the New Hope. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna put it that way. Like because it's the same exact story. There's a ma there's plans. Gotta get it to the Resistance, the Empire, the the First Order's after it. Then um, you know you get uh, uh, someone from the Sand Planet, and they have their Force user, and then you know this and that, and then there's a Death Star at some point. They gotta blow it up. Like toward the end, it's like it's like completely like the New Hope. But anyway, there's enough differences that it's just. Not it's not mimicking it; it's just paralleling it, which is which is nice. Um, Han Solo, I loved Han Solo. I loved him. They, he got the most screen time out of any of the older cast, and the reason is because he dies in the movie. Big spoiler: he dies. I I kind of had a sense that he was going to die. I just didn't wasn't you know 
I didn't know really 100%. And then somebody, I, I read a comment section by accident, someone said Luke Skywalker dies, and I was like, fuck! And then, toward the middle of the movie, or toward the ending of the movie, you realize that, no, Luke's not in the in, really in the movie, really, so there's no way he's gonna die, and it's gonna be Han. And the moment that he died, I did tear up a little bit, not when he got stabbed, not when he was talking to his son. Oh, the biggest spoiler in the entire movie, sorry, I'm getting out of hand, is the fact that Kylo Ren is Han Solo's son. That is crazy. Like, I did not see that coming at all. Like, I was just like, what? He's his son? And then, like, I mean, he they got a character, they got a, a actor that kind of looks like him a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I, you could tell, like, oh, yeah, I could see that being his son. But, anyway, that's going more into Kylo Ren's character. But, anyway, I did tear up a little bit when um, Kylo Ren stabs Han Solo, kills his own father, and then uh, Han Solo puts his hand on his face and then kind of falls. Once he falls and then Chewie screams, I was like, oh, my God. I'm tearing up a little bit. I'm welling up a little bit with the with the with the feels, and so he he's dead. Um, Leia, I didn't really like. She didn't get that much screen time. She did fine, I guess, for the the scenes that she was in, and uh, you know she was she was all right. What else? Phasma didn't, uh, which is the silver looking stormtrooper. It's a girl. I didn't know it was gonna be a girl. I thought it was gonna be a dude, but it's a girl and. She basically doesn't really do anything in the movie, and that was she was probably the most disappointing part of the movie because she does get captured at some point at the end to like pull down like the shield or something inside the new Death Star or the Star Killer base, and then um, you know it just it just kind of seems really cheap the way it, the way it's done, and then she gets it doesn't really know what her fate is. Uh, she's she's alive though. She's gonna be in the next movies, but I thought that she was kind of underused a little bit. Like she was kind of promoted in the trailers to be like some badass chick, but apparently or badass person, but she didn't do shit. That was probably the most disappointing part of the movie itself. Um, and this is and then I'm gonna go into Kylo Ren's character. And now people might be upset with the way he was handled, but I actually kind of like it. Now it just seems like whiny little bitches are the what the makes the Sith. Or what the Sith makes, but um, Kylo Ren is very much like Anakin Skywalker. He's little, he has anger problems, he is kind of like whiny, um, but he's got more humanity to him, and he's being pulled to the light side, which is weird. First time we ever seen it, he's, he's being pulled to the light side by just seeing his dad. That's the reason he had to kill his dad to be to stay in the dark side. And so he, I mean, he has anger problems and stuff like that. Just every time he gets mad, he destroys things. He got shot. Chewie shot him at one point, and at the last lightsaber, he keeps beating his chest to where he got shot, just to keep feeling that pain and getting angry and stuff. So that was actually pretty badass. Um, I think that his character, he's not as whiny as Anakin. At some point, twice he gets a little bit whiny, but. For the most part, he's kind of badass. I like the way they made him. He's young. Um, they gave him room to grow for the next two movies where he can get more serious, more badass, pulled more to the dark side. I mean, this first movie, he, he passed the first test. He had to kill his father. He did. And now he doesn't have anything pulling him to the light side besides his mom, which I'm assuming eventually he's going to try to kill her too. But I like the way his character was portrayed. He's definitely like really in love with trying to be like Darth Vader. And he's never fought, he's never had to face another Force user, it seems like, or in a long time he hasn't. Basically, his story is that he was one of the students at Luke Skywalker's Academy, the new school that he was doing, and then he went crazy, killed all his students, all his other students, and then, um, you know, I don't know if he fought Luke or what, but then he left, and Luke couldn't save any of the students that he had, so he went into hiding, that's why they have to find Luke, that's why Luke is hiding. Um, so Kylo Ren is the reason that Luke is hiding, and so uh, Kylo Ren, I love the way he did it. Uh, the, the lightsaber fight was really good, not choreographed bullshit like in the prequels. It was actually like it felt like an actual survival type of thing, like the way you would do it. And basically, what happens is that Finn fights Kylo Ren first and gets his ass handed to him. Then Rey fights Kylo Ren and kicks his ass with Anakin's lightsaber for no less. And just because she like more, in, I guess she's a little bit more in tune with the Force, and she's definitely going to become a Jedi because at the end of the movie she goes and finds Luke Skywalker, and she finds him on this planet that was where the first Jedi Temple was or something like that. And when you first see Luke, he turns around and he seems. I mean, apparently they say he lost weight for this movie, but he still is a little bit, a little bit portly. A little bit in the movie, uh, not too skinny. His face looks skinnier, but then uh, th th this is this part. Uh, like this is the part that made me also like actually like almost shed a tear. 
very close to, was that the music swelled up and he turned around, he pulled down his hood, and at this point I thought it was kind of funny because he like he pulled out his hood. I didn't expect him to have like flowing long hair, but he had like long flowing hair. It was kind of funny. Look, it was kind of funny the way he did it. But then she pulled out his old lightsaber, like and he, like not his, well, his, his Darth Vader's lightsaber, Anakin's lightsaber, and now the first lightsaber that he used. And she pulled it out. And, like, he stared at it, and the way... He didn't say anything, and, like, I love... I love the fact that we're gonna get more Luke in the next in the next movies, because he's a great actor. Just the way he looked at the lightsaber, and, like, the little emotions that were in his face, like, it made me, like, like oh my god, like, I was, like, I was seeing the prequels and the older movies all at once, like, everything that lightsaber has gone through, Anakin, um, all the, Anakin's transformation, um, so at that point, that's when I was, like, I got the full emotion, and then the movie's over, and I'm, like, and I have way more questions that need to be answered at the end of the movie, like, who will raise parents, is it Luke? Like, I'm thinking he's Luke, but why would Luke, like, leave her on the desert plan, like, just like he was left? I don't know, maybe, maybe that's, maybe that's what happened, but, um, I already know who Finn's parents, whose Finn parents are, it's, um, what's his name, uh, uh, Carissian, the guy from the second, from the older second movie, um, the guy who betrayed Han, and then, uh, Lando, Lando, that's his name, he, Lando is Finn's dad, I already know that. But, like, who is this, uh, this, like, Snoke, this, the leader of the First Order? Like, I don't know who he is. I don't know who he is. I don't know who Phas Phasma is. Um, I don't know exactly what more training Kylo Ren's gonna be doing, because apparently he's gonna be doing more training. That's what Snoke said. Uh, what else? I don't know what's gonna happen to, to Finn, because basically Kylo Ren sliced his spine out. At the like at the end and knocked him out. I know he's gonna live, but like he's gonna be like a robotic a robotic spine. He's gonna like you know what's gonna happen to him. I don't know. Uh, is she gonna become? Is is Ray gonna become a new Jedi? Is he gonna become like uh, like the one that's gonna have like all of Luke's teachings instilled inside of her? Are there more characters gonna come out? That, you know, to come out later on? I don't know. This this movie left me with so many questions, and I just loved it. I loved every minute of this movie. I want to go see it again in the movie theaters. Now the three D part was amazing amazing like there's parts where the ships were coming at you out of the out of, like every space scene was amazing like when it was coming out of the screen it was flying in the movie theater there's one part where the spaceship the the first order spaceship was just kind of like pointed towards the screen i know you guys know this part if you especially watch it in 3d and it's coming out of the screen i was like oh my god that's awesome that's some of the best 3d that i've ever seen definitely worth the 3D. I mean, if you're going to go watch it, go watch it in 3D. I'm giving you that right now. Go watch it in 3D because it was amazing in 3D. The special effects were amazing as well. The sounds were amazing. The blasters, like, every time they hit something, when they hit a person, you felt the weight. When Finn stabbed that stormtrooper with the lightsaber for the first time, you felt that weight and you felt like the stormtrooper's body just stopped moving because it was, like, dead. Well, it was dead, but, and like, ah, oh, it was just so good. It was such a good movie and I had to give it Honestly, my review, my score, give it an A+, plus, 10 out of 10, and that's coming from me. There are flaws in this movie, but coming from me, a Star Wars fanboy, and just the the fact that this movie, on its own, if I wasn't a Star Wars fanboy on its own, this movie would be a 9.5, just because I don't, like, there's little tiny flaws that could take off 5 points, but at the same time, I'm like, no, no, because I'm a Star Wars fanboy, and that's my score, I'm going to be at a 10. 10 out of 10, A+, plus, great fucking movie. I'm going to be worried because the next one is not directed by J.J. Abrams. I love J.J. Abrams. He's one of my favorite directors of all time, and the next one's not by him. It's by the director of Looper, which was not a good movie, in my opinion. But whatever. We'll see. Hopefully, they, they do something good with it because apparently J.J. Abrams had a little bit more input in the, the next two movies anyway. So, there's that. I loved this movie. Go watch it if you haven't in the movie theaters preferably 3D if you can I'm going to be buying this on Blu-ray I'm I'm trying I'm going to try to go see it one more time probably maybe not in 3D but regular but I'm going to try to go see it one more time uh this is a great movie guys um 
yeah. So anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think about this. What do you guys think? What are your predictions for Star Wars? Things that you were talking, things from the movie that you wanted to go ahead and touch on, things that might happen in the next movie or the way the trilogy is going to be going. Put in the comment section below. Let me know, guys. Uh, let's see if we get over 50 likes for Star Wars: The Force Awakens. 50 likes. Uh, and as always, guys, if you like what you see here and you want to see more, go ahead and put a lightsaber right through that subscribe button to see more. This is going to be Sanjutsu signing off. Take care, guys. Friendly. They are very likable, lovable. Um, what else? Likable, lovable, mm, down to earth. It's just somebody, people that you would want to go ahead and hang out with on the regular, basically. The the people in this movie. And even the ones that I'm talking about are... Uh, Alright, that's a couple of seconds. So this movie, I loved this movie. I really did. I thought it was um, very intense, very memorable, very um, nostalgic. Had great characters. The new faces of this movie, they are very friendly I guess uh, no no okay let me not bring you this review from my shitty ass phone in my car is because I got a couple people in my house who have not yet watched the movie so I don't want to accidentally spoil anything for them but this is a spoiler review I'm going to go ahead and give you just some of the spoilers that are in here and I wanted to talk about and just my thoughts on the movie and in general so if you guys wanted to go ahead and click out go ahead and do that I'll give you a couple seconds to do that What's up guys, Sunjutsu here, and I wanted to go ahead and give you my review for Star Wars The Force Awakens. I just watched it a couple of hours ago, and I wanted to go ahead and give you my review. Now, the reason I'm giving you um, Ray, Finn, Poe, BB-8, those are the ones that you really wanted to hang out with. You really don't want to hang out with Kylo Ren because you don't want to, but I'll get more into his character in a little bit. I liked Finn a lot. He was like what I really wanted him to be, and I love the fact that he used the star, 